How much silver should I own? As a matter of fact, how much silver should you own? As a matter of fact, let's talk about that right now. Guys, thank you so much for watching another video from Urban Lifestyle. My name is Eli. This is a community over 8,000 strong. If you guys would like to help support that community, you guys can help out by leaving a subscribe, leaving a comment, leaving a thumbs up. Find me on my social media platform, Urban Lifestyle 1989. And don't forget to hit that notification icon so you guys get future notifications of my future videos. And if you guys do decide to join this community, I sincerely want to say thank you in advance. So question of the day, how much silver do you guys believe that you guys should own? Comment down below, let me and the community know, all right? But let's get into it. First of all, I just wanna give you guys the basic answer, all right? The basic answer. If you're into stacking silver, if you're into buying precious metals, here's what it should be. In my opinion, of course, and like I say, I'm not an expert, I'm not a financial advisor, you guys should never just follow me blindly. You guys should always do your own research, all right? But the basic answer that I believe, again, I, me, just me, I believe is the correct answer is about five to 10% of whatever you make. If you make $40,000, then five and 10% of that. If you make $100,000, then five and 10% of that. If you make three billion, gazillion, for fillion, a million, trillion dollars, then five and 10% of that. But that's just the generic answer. That's just the basic answer. We wanna go deeper to that. Matter of fact, I could just tell you that and the video is over, but I need that watch time. I need that watch time, all right? I need that watch time. So now I gotta create some stuff to tell you guys. All right, I gotta create something now. Let's see, I already have it on the board, good thing. Now if we take that, what is your plan? What are your plans, all right? What are your plans? What are you planning to do? What is it that you want to accomplish? What is it that you want the silver to do for you is one of the things that we have to put into consideration. So let's plug in some scenarios and see what that is, all right? So what are your plans? Are you trying to make money? Are you trying to prepare for the worst? Are you just trying to protect yourself from inflation? All right, now let me give you a couple of scenarios. If your goals are you want to save money and you say, hey, you know what? I want to save money, but I want to be protected from inflation. Then whatever you save on a year to year basis, whatever you save on your paycheck should go directly into silver. All right, there's nothing bad. There's nothing bad with that. If you say, hey, I'm going to save. Now, I would advise you guys to make sure you always have an emergency fund to take care of the today problems, all right? Because you saving for silver is just inflation for the future. But if you get a flat tire today, you need some money for that. So whatever, outside your emergency cash, whatever you are saving and you want to protect and you want to do whatever you want with it, I'll say put that into silver. That could be 10% of your income. That could be 20% of your income. That could be 100% of your income. I doubt it, but it could be 100% of your income. All right. So what is your plan when it comes to stacking silver or gold for that matter? What are your plans? Now, this is stuff that you should just write down. Actually take the time, sit down, take a notepad and just write it down. What is it that I actually want? All right, man, what is that on my hand? So you gotta know what you want, all right? Now, once you have that, for what? What's the reason you're buying silver? For what, all right? Now, let me plug in some scenarios. We have scenario one. If you're buying silver for the SHTF, when stuff hits the fan, all right? Then I'll say, hey, you need to buy more. You need to buy more silver, it doesn't matter, all right? And it's never enough. It's never enough, all right? It's never enough. You can have a billion dollars worth of silver, but you have a lot of family. If stuff hits the fan, you're gonna need to provide for all of all your loved ones, all right? It's never enough, okay? Especially for this situation. So, when it comes to SHCF, you're just not stacking silver. You, you need to stack more stuff. You need to stack food, supply, ammo, all that that comes with the SHTF, and that's why I don't like to go to that spot. I mean, it's a bit negative. I try not to, I try to shy away from that thought, all right? But yes, I do think about it because I want to be prepared for everything, all right? So yes, you need to buy more. It's never enough. And don't just focus on silver itself. Focus on other resources as well. Now let's go to the for what? Number two, if you're looking to actually make money off buying silver, all right? What do we have here? Then you always buy when it's low. You can never have enough if it's low. So you should always buy what you can afford. It doesn't matter if you have a lot of silver saved up. You should always buy more when it's low because your plan is you want it to go up in prices and you want to sell and make a quick profit from it. 
All right. And matter of fact, when I went to the coin shop today, I actually saw a guy. I was like, hey, man, are you trying to trade in your silver for gold? It was like, nah, you know, I bought it back then when it was at $14. He had a whole bunch. And then, you know what? I feel like it's time for me to cash up because the prices go I went up. He sold two golds and a whole bunch of silver and he made a wad of cash. All right. A lot of cash was in his hand. So that was his goal and he accomplished it. He made a quick little profit from it. All right. Because your goal when you're trying to make money is you can either wait for the price to go up or you're trying to flip it. Now, if you're trying to flip it, you're going for the more valuable stuff, all right? So you can, it's never enough because you're not holding on to your silver. You're not holding on to it, all right? So you have this, you're flipping it. You have the silver, you flip it, you take the profit, you go buy. So you can never have enough because you're not storing it in the first place, all right? And you want to sell high, all right? And how do we know what's enough? until you hit your profit goals, all right? Once you hit your profit goals, then you know it's enough. But I gotta check the camera to make sure it's still recording, all right? Now, let's look at another scenario. If you're buying silver for retirement, first of all, you need to know how much money do you need for retirement? You gotta look at, hey, right now, all right, if I don't have my job and I'm planning to retire, let's just say, hey, hypothetically, I just transformed from 30 to 65 years old in just a matter of seconds. What do I need to survive right now? How much do I need to survive right now? All right? And that's just right now moments. We're not talking about kids, grandkids, great, great, great grandkids. We're not talking about all that. So it's always better to prepare with a little bit more at hand. All right? You got to make sure, hey, is my house paid off for? Will my house be paid off for? Okay, it is. All right? No, it's not. You always got to prepare for little stuff like that. And how much silver you need? Because remember, you're buying silver to actually maintain your wealth. You don't want to just save up for retirement and you just have fiat currency and then fiat currency is just going down and down and down and down and by the time you're retired you saved up a million dollars but that million dollars only worth a hundred thousand dollars <sighs> that would be a bummer so we want to put it into silver to make sure hey we keep and retain our value that the silver provides right now and in the future we can grow up in value so it depends on what is enough how much do you need how much cash do you need when you retire and that goes back to the second part what is the cost of retirement in the future? Now listen, listen to that question very carefully. What is the cost of retirement in the future? Because the cost of retirement right now is probably different 30 to 40 years from now, all right? You have to keep all those stuff in mind. Let's say everything just went up by 50%, all right? So right now, if you have a dollar to survive, you need a dollar fifty to survive 10, 15 years from now. So if you say, hey, I need a million dollars and I'll be good, chump that up to a million dollars and 500,000. You always wanna put a little bit more, especially when we're talking about the future, something that's like 40, 30, 40 years from now. Now, if you're a bit older, now it lessens for you, the time lessens. Now you're looking at it as, hey, what do I need in the next five years? What do I need in the next 10 years? What do I need in the next 15 years? All right? so. With all that being said, the answer is, how much silver should you own if you're looking at it as a retirement? The question is unknown. It's unknown, to be honest with you. It's unknown how you're gonna be living in the future. We don't know, all right? So I gave you guys a couple of different aspects because this answer is not just a generic answer. Yeah, I gave you my generic answer, which is five to 10% of whatever you make right now, all right? But what are your plans, all right? You can have a plan to say, hey, you know what? I wanna buy as much silver as I possibly can and if the price do go up to 40, 50, 60, $100, I can actually sell it off and buy another asset and create, probably buy real estate properties and rent it out, rental properties, and rent it out and make some ongoing income from that. Or it could be whatever it is, all right? And, and such, in cases like that, you actually realize, hey, how much money do I need to actually do that? All right. Hey, I'll just buy this much, this much. And if it does go up to that price, then I'll just sell it all and I'll have this much here. All right. So that's basically, I mean, it's not a, a, a generic answer. I, I really can't answer that for everybody on here. I could just give you guys scenarios and tell you the best way to attack the scenario for you to figure out for yourself. All right. But that's pretty much all I have for you guys today. I want to know how much do you believe is the right amount for you? All right, comment down below. Let me in the community know. But guys, thank you so much for watching another video from Urban Lifestyle. Don't forget to hit that subscribe button if you're not already. Make sure you hit that thumbs up. Comment down below and have a beautiful day. And don't forget to work and grind. Hey.
Everything.